Tadima, welcome back to being Tawana on YouTube. If you would please, I would appreciate if you would subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, I do enjoy making content. I've just been MIA for a little bit, but um, I'm back. And the goal is to be more consistent. So, here we go. This video is called Stolen Focus. Um, I have been missing in action just because uh, life has just been going on. Um, I haven't been in a space where I have been wanting to, you know, make videos. I like to come here <clears throat> to be, you know, uplifting and um, to provide information, the things that I know from personal experience, usually. Um, if I can throw in some fact in there <laughs> and things that you can find, I do that. Uh, but I just have not been in that space damn near this whole year, to be honest. You know, it's just been one hell of a year, for real. And I decided to start reading this book. The author is named uh, Johan Harry. I think he's a British-Swiss author. Um he has an accent, but I decided to get this book because I have been looking for something to help me figure out, you know, what's, you know, eating Gilbert Grape myself, right? What's going on with me? Um, I currently do not have a therapist. Um, I have not been doing therapy Thursdays or anything like that. Um, just because, you know, I feel like, especially the last... Um, you know, a few months, life has just been sliding on by. I'm not going to lie to you. So, found this book and I decided to go ahead and make this video today. Um, been up most of the night just thinking about it, thinking about it, wanting to record. Can't find my tripod. My ring light that I had before is broke. <laughs> um, you know, I think about all the things that I do um, and... You know, I still record and, and take pictures and things like that when I'm out doing things, but I haven't brought anything to um, the channel or any of my social media accounts because I've just been in a place of being quiet, um, somewhat being a little bit of a hermit, you know. Um, so here I am realizing that I've had too many irons in the fire, you know. And I'm working on transitioning um, from where I have to be to more so where I want to be. Um, and I'll probably get into that. I do like my videos to be short because I know me personally. I do not like to be listening to anybody's anything for a very long period of time. Um, so I'm going to keep this short. Keep it brief. Right? So here we go. Um... So with the book, basically, you know, in society, especially nowadays, you know, I didn't grow up in the era of, you know, cell phones, social media, anything like that. The internet came around when I was in college, then end of high school, freshman year of college. And it's so easy for us to be exposed to, you know, quick snippets of things, you know, um, you'll hear a story about somebody, you know, being murdered, and then you'll see something about a funny cat, and then you'll get a story about, you know, your favorite celebrity doing something crazy kooky, and then you get all these things, and so we continuously are losing focus um, and the ability to have empathy and to even think for ourselves, and I also feel like it definitely brings forth more anxiety because maybe sometimes we feel like we should be doing this or doing that without actually being able to sit with yourself and realize that, you know, this isn't for me. So I will talk about myself here in this case. I have a chair. I've had this chair um, over a year now, over a year. And it's a good chair. It's a nice, sturdy chair, great bones, um, good base, it's on a swivel. Perfect for um, if you have a small child, a baby or whatever, 
You can sit in there, rock, you can fall asleep, you can do all these different things. It's not a rocker, but it's very similar to that. And I got this chair and I was like, okay, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to reupholster it. And I reupholster furniture, but nothing like real major and real big, okay? This would definitely be the biggest thing that I've ever done because it's put together very, very well. And it is so many different staples and things inside of this fabric that it's hard to take out. This chair is flipped upside down in my garage right now. And I thought about it last night. And I was like, you know what? I need to get rid of things that I don't need. And I'm very much so, I don't have a lot of things in my house anyway that I don't need anyway, because I'm, that's who I am. I don't like clutter. And I've learned through all my years of therapy that I work to control my environment because as a kid, I did not control my environment or what happened or how things happened. So in my adult life, yes, I do try to control my environment, yes. So with that being said, I'm realizing this chair is a symbol of me doing a little bit too much. And when you have a task in front of you that is so difficult, you procrastinate and you don't do it. And then if you had a bunch of little things that are easy to do, you might not do those either because it's so many of them to do even though you can do them all. So the best way to really hone in on your time and what's important to you is just to declutter what you really don't need. Be honest with yourself. Talking to myself here. Um, be honest with yourself and move it. Move it through. Get rid of it. So today, I will be posting my little chair. Not my little chair. It's actually a big chair. I'm going to post my chair on a site just to sell it um, for somebody that actually reupholsters larger furniture to be able to sell it. They can sell that chair between six to $800 once they finish it. Great payday, you know, for somebody. But I'm realizing that I've had so many different things going on and sometimes I can get lost in everything and feel overwhelmed with my own self. And then I also had some personal things going on with myself. Um, you know, I am feeling better. Things are going better for me personally. I'm grateful for that. I also realize that your health is so important. And when you do not have your health, every el everything else in life can just go to pot, like for real. Um, so that has been going on with me, but I'm feeling better. Things are going better. Um, and I'm becoming more and more aware of what I need to do for myself to have a long and healthy life because I'm gonna be here a long time and I want to enjoy my life. So moving into a different career path, um, one that's not just health-based, but one that's financial-based, which is different for me, but exciting and good. Um, I love to learn, that's just who I am. I will go get a certification, a, a, a degree, or this or that or whatever. Not, I don't want to get any more degrees if I don't have to. But certifications and things like that, yes, I'm all into that. So I'm working on some things that I want to do and putting things aside that I've been having to do throughout the years. Still, that's still in me. I'm still a caretaker and all that stuff, but that's going to be less and less of what I do. And I'm going to focus more into what I really want to do. Um, I'm learning to let things go with uh, family, with, um, you know, having older children now, letting them be more independent and on their own, and realizing that my role as a parent is changing. And accepting it is hard, but that's what I have to do. So I'm doing it for my own sanity. Um, things, you know, that happen, you know, in close relationships, letting people be where they at, not mad, not bitter, none of that stuff, but just moving through life and really focusing on what's going to make me a better me because I compared myself to last year and I feel like 
I'm not as good right now as I was last year at this time. And that's a really hard thing to realize and admit. But here I am doing the work for myself and still fighting the good fight and, you know, loving on myself. You know, so today um, I will not be going out looking for batting and fabric and cushioning and uh, a knife to cut foam and stuff like that for this chair because I'm not going to finish the chair. I'll be real about it. But what I am going to do is um, study from my class that I have and um, go look up some herbs. I am looking for a particular plant, a climbing mandevilla plant that I love um, that I saw when I was home in Indiana last week. And I'm just going to do some other things and be real about it. So just want to leave you guys with this. Whatever you got going on in life, um, focus on what isn't necessary. Get rid of it. It's not necessary. And focus on what you do want. And learn to sit with yourself in the quiet, in the peace, in the nature. I'm not in nature, but this is the most nature room that I have in my house because most of my, all my plants are in here right now because uh, there was a hurricane. <laughs> that really wasn't a hurricane here where I live, but it was a hurricane in my state. Um, it wasn't that bad here, thank God. I do pray for the families um, that really got hit because some people really did get hit. But um, here it was like nothing. But my plants are inside. And I think I might leave them here. I need to get some better lighting and things for them. But anyway, get in nature. Sit with yourself. You know, journal. Walk. Get physical. And really just think about what brings you joy. I think sometimes we miss that in life, you know. Happiness, you have to create on your own. And joy is something that, you know, it's definitely attainable. And I think thinking forward all the time, being anxious about what's going to happen, this and that, you miss being in the present and being able to experience joy when it does come. So, thank you. I love you. I thank you for watching my video. And uh, that's it. Ijo Desi.